In this lecture, we're going to continue naming our alkanes. So here we have five examples. Let's begin with example number one. So first, we want to find the longest possible carbon backbone. So one, two, three, four. Or we can also have one, two, three, four. Either way, we have a four carbon backbone. So that means we're dealing with butane. Now, which way do we want to go, starting from this carbon or this carbon? Well, remember, our substituents should have the lowest possible number. So that means we begin on this end. So, one, two, three, four, and that means we're going to name it. So, our substituents are both located on the second position. That means we have two, two, we have bromo, so dibromo, and then butane. So, 2,2 two simply means our two bromos are located on the second position. And our chain is a butane, one, two, three, four. So let's look at the second example. So once again, we want to find the longest possible carbon backbone, carbon chain. One, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five. Now, since this guy is symmetrical, it doesn't matter if we start from this end or this end. So let's begin from this end. One, two, three, four, five. And our substituents are both on the third carbon, so that means we're going to have three, three, di, methyl, they're both methyl compounds, and we have five, so that means we have pentane. Let's look at the third example. So once again, longest possible carbon backbone, one, two, three, or one, two, three, or one, two, three, it doesn't matter which way we go, so let's go straight across. One, two, three. So, Three carbon backbone, that means we're dealing with a propane. And on the second position, we have two methyl groups. So we have two, two dimethyl propane. Let's look at the, th uh, the fourth example. So here we have a very long carbon backbone. So we can either begin counting this way, or this way, or this way. So we can say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it looks like if we go along this carbon backbone, we're going to have the longest carbon backbone. So we can either start from this end and go all the way down, or from this end and go all the way down. Since we want our substituent to have the lowest possible number, we should probably start from this end. And so, let's start labeling or numbering. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so that means we have 10, so that's decane. And we have, on the third carbon, we have, so 3, methyl decane. Alright, so let's look at the final example. So, here we can start from either this position, this position, this guy, this guy, or this guy. So, if we start from this position, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or we can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, if we start from this end or this end, it looks like we get the longest possible carbon backbone. So let's begin from this end. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And now these guys are our substituents. So we have three substituents. Two of them are identical, so they're methyl, and one of them is ethyl. So ethyl comes before methyl because E comes before M. So that means th this guy will become will come before these two guys. So let's first make sure we have seven. So that means we have 
heptane. And we're going to start with one, two, so four. So we're going to have four ethyl. Then we're going to have two, three, so two, three, di methyl. So, 4-ethyl, 2,3-dimethyl heptane. So we have our 7-chain carbon backbone, 2 identical 2,3-dimethyls, and we have 1-ethyl. And this guy comes before these two guys because E comes before M in the alphabet.